what's up guys it's your boy console fix again back with another video this time we're going to be working on a ps4 slim um, this slim is stuck in the update loop and this video is going to show you how you can do a couple things before you have to reinstall the uh, software when you do the when you do reinstall the software using the usb stick uh, unfortunately you lose all your data so hopefully you backed it up all right so uh, this slim comes to me it's got an issue it's stuck in the software loop uh, software did not finish updating I guess it'll load this main screen and then after that pretty much the air by the way guys if you haven't liked and subscribed to the channel please do so that helps out a bunch so other people can find these videos help them with their consoles fix their consoles you know what I'm saying I'm gonna show you guys what I do first before I reinstall the software oh finally Okay, cannot start the PS4 connect the DualShock 4 using the USB cable. We've already done that. Press the power button. Now it's going to tell you to connect a USB storage device that contains an update fi file for reinstallation for version 7.50 or later. So uh, it gives you the website. You can download the update file at PlayStation.com um, and you're going to click OK usually um, but I'm not going to do that what I'm going to do is go ahead and press and hold the power button down it does that beep a couple times and then it's going to shut off just keep holding it down beeps and you let go all right you want the white light in the front here to stop blinking this white light up here on the power button once that stops blinking then go ahead and press and hold the button and it, it'll beep you can release All right, so now you're you're in safe mode. Go ahead and click on safe mode. Now at first, it's not gonna want to let you do anything. It's gonna just want you to still update using the USB storage. Um, but you can click on this, go over to OK and back to cancel and click cancel. Then it'll allow you to go into the other option. You basically just plug your internet cable into your modem um, and into your slim. And then you're going to go to update system software. You want to go, there's three options, storage device from disk or using internet. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and click on internet first. Okay, it says the following version system software is available, 7.51. Click next and it'll download the file. It's, it's going to take it, you know, 30 seconds or so. If you guys are enjoying the video, don't forget to like hit the like button leave a comment smash that subscribe button if you haven't already and click the bell for more videos okay so we got about 10 seconds here now if this is something that you just not sure of or still don't want to do um, you can always uh, contact me contact me on my uh, email that's in my description this is software will be updated the ps4 will restart and start the update so click ok hit the x button i'm also going to be doing a refurbishment video on the same console um after uh we update the software then we'll go ahead and uh do a refurbishment and i'll go through that with you guys step by step do a how-to video 
uh, so you guys could see how to take apart and clean your PS4 Slims. So now the installation process has begun. Uh, si the system software update is installing the files. Um, make sure that you do not turn the PS4 off for any reason uh, during this process. The console gets shut off during an update or it overheats. Um, so we're gonna hope that this doesn't do that. It doesn't seem like it's it's running hot, but even if it does, I mean, we'll refurbish it and do the same process before, so we could try to save the data, and uh, and that's basically what what we're trying. As soon to do. as the installation is done, the console is gonna restart. Make sure you don't touch the console. All right, and again, do not touch the PlayStation while it's restarting. The screen's gonna go blank for a minute. There it goes. Usually if the PlayStation just got shut off, you can get by by doing this. Now, if the PlayStation shuts off because it overheated, that right there could cause an issue. Okay. So now it's saying connect the DualShock 4 using the USB cable. So, all right. So we, it didn't work. So let's try something else. This flash drive is already loaded with the files. Um, you just basically go to playstation.com, um, follow the directions, download, uh, download the reinstallation software onto the thumb drive and insert it into your PS4. Then you're gonna click OK. It's gonna tell you to wait, you guys. Okay. All right. So it says the update file cannot be used. Connect a USB storage device that contains an update file for reinstallation, version 7.51 or later. Okay. So this is one of those. So there is one other thing that you can try to do. This is just the uh, this is the update. So most likely if the update doesn't work using uh, plugging it in directly into the modem and using the internet uh, then the regular update isn't going to work so we're going to need to get another flash drive i get one right here and i'll show you how to format it and what process we go through i'm going to go that. to the ps4 system software update page um, whatever the current update is gonna be. There's two options. Uh, we already tried the first option on the left, which is uh, install PS4 update. So we tried, it didn't work. Um, so we're gonna have to reformat uh, a hard drive, FAT32, and uh, make sure it's the full format, uh, select the full format. Once you do, uh, then you follow the instructions. Okay, we, this is when all else fails, basically. We've tried all these these different steps, okay. Initialize and reinstall PS4 system software update using safe mode. Um, use a PC or Mac, create a folder named PS4 on a USB drive formatted as FAT32. Inside that folder, create another folder named update. Then visit the software update page and reinstall system uh, software. So we're going to go ahead and download the PS4 reinstallation file. And you'll notice that this one is much bigger than the one that you downloaded before. Okay, so my file's already been downloaded. Um, let me just add another screen here. You have a folder named PS4 that you created, a folder within a name update, and it's empty right now, okay? All you need to do is just click that download and drop it into this space. So I'm going to do that now. Well, before I do that, I'm going to rename it because you have to take the one out of there, I believe. Yeah, so you'll have to rename it. I'm going to rename it. Drop it. And it's going to copy. So that's going to take a minute. So it has to be... In, in my case, it wasn't named ps4update.pub. I had to rename it that. 
So make sure that the file is exactly the way it says there. Or it won't. Uh, your PS4 won't recognize it. All right, 100% complete. Okay, so now you have in there the file that says PS4 update PUP. So what you want to do here is go to your actual uh, thumb drive, right click and, and hit eject. Uh, it'll tell you on your computer it's safe to remove it. Go ahead and remove the thumb drive and stick it in the PS4 just like so. And you're going to go over and click OK. It's going to tell you to wait. All right, on this screen we have, let me uh, focus, let me get this guy to focus a little better. My bad. You can't read it, but I'll read it for you. It's in safe mode, says PS4 will be initialized. All users and data will be deleted. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes, we are sure. It's going to initialize. All right, so now it's going to update the system software. Now, if you didn't do the thumb drive correctly, you're going to know because you don't get, it won't even allow you to get this far. It'll tell you that it doesn't recognize the file or give you like some error code. Then that means you need to go back and check. Usually it's because if you downloaded the file, for some reason your computer numbered it wrong or added a number to it or something to it, to the description, the name. So you just have to rename it a lot of times. So I'm gonna ask you to wait. All right, so now it's installing the update file. After the installation is completed, the PS4 will automatically restart. All right, it's gonna restart. Now, if the hard drive isn't messed up and you don't have to replace the hard drive, that's, this is like, besides that, this is the worst thing that could happen. Um, if the hard drive doesn't take the update for whatever reason, um, this is basically the same process you're gonna follow when you install the new hard drive. All right, so cannot start the PS4. So it looks like the hard drive so after all that, even trying to initialize the console, the hard drive is the problem. All right, so we've already tried everything we can to restore this PS4. We tried initializing it. We tried everything. We tried to install the software using the internet. We tried doing it um, with the USB thumb drive. Then we tried to initialize it with the thumb drive. Nothing works. If you can hear, I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but in the background, uh, this hard drive is chirping. Um, so, what we're going to do is, we're going to go ahead and, I have another hard drive here. We're going to stick it in and go ahead and initialize it. the hard drive then it'll initialize just fine install the update and the console is back in business all right again ps4 will be initialized all data will be deleted do you want to continue yes i'll 
would like to. Getting down to it. Alright, initiated like that. It's updating the system software very quickly as it should. Get my dog to get in in the video, but you don't want to. Come here, Kobe. Say hi, fans. It's me, Kobe Bryant. <laughs> Say it's me. It's me, Kobe. Like and subscribe for the for the show. Tell them like and subscribe so they can watch more videos with Kobe Bryant and console fix. <laughs> In six months now, he's not. He's still little, but not so so small like when I first got them all right pretty awesome hey you want to be in want to be in the video again <laughs> he doesn't he's camera shy man he just wants to go play I guess he's like hurry up with this stupid video I need you to chase me Alright, we're at 36%. That's great. Let's see this. Get a look at him. My little multi poop. We're getting his brother. It's going to be so cool. Don't know what his name is. Alright. I'll let you go. My bad. <laughs> Keep coming over here and I'm going to snatch you again. We're at ninety nine percent. Installing the update. Uh, after this, it will automatically uh, restart. It'll restart. Again, the fan will stop this time. Restart. You'll have your PlayStation symbol. The same symbol as it's on my hand. <laughs> so, man. Oh, well, what do you know? Sony Interactive Entertainment. So that's it. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Don't forget to hit the like button. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Uh, share the video as much as you can and subscribe. Click the bell. See you later, guys.